I know in, in working with women that that nothing was expected of them. You know, the record companies, you know, you'd have a marketing meeting on a guy act and, you know, there'd be a thousand different ways to look at it and a thousand different, you know, plans that were going to be implemented. And then when it would come to a female act, it was, well, you know, she's not going to sell a lot of records. She'll never be a headliner. And I think that Reba reacted to that, you know. She just said, hey, I'm going to take it into my own hands and I'm going to show you that a woman can have platinum albums and a woman can headline a show and a woman can run a business. I admire Reba very much. You? you want a picture? I actually think I'm a lot like her. And I think that Reba is kind of a person that is <clears throat> a no crap. And I because this business can be so political and so ugh sometimes where you just the butt kissing is just sickening. And she just doesn't she's not involved in that. She takes care of her fans. And she takes care of Reba. It's been a really hard time for me. I have a second record coming out, which people call the sophomore jinx. They automatically expect the artist, myself, to be the most panicked about the second record, but it's not true. The record label is the most panicked. Minnie's taken a great deal of time and emotion, uh, probably more so than any of the other developing acts that, that I have been working on the last couple of years. Uh, I would say the most amount of time I have spent on anybody has been Mindy. There's no doubt about that. A lot of times when you're a record label head, you feel like the whole weight of the world is on your shoulders and I have to make the right decision and I'm here for a reason, so I'm going to make the call. Thank you so much. Well, I mean, there's a lot of things that I think Joe is brilliant at, but there's also a lot of things that I think I could help him with because of what my age is. I mean, his age is not, his age group isn't buying country music, mine is. Oh, bye, guys. See you later. Minnie is a very bright woman. She is not stubborn. What she is is um, part actress, part scared, part um, full of herself. I know best. At 21, we all knew best. Bye. She knows that I'm there for her, that I care about her. But I'm also an authority figure, so maybe I don't always want to be close to that person. And if he's getting mad at me, he's getting mad at me for a reason, but I've got to put on this air like I don't care. Uh, or that I should tell him where he should go. And Big Brother has good news and bad news because as a Big Brother, sometimes you really love your sister and other times you just want to smack the crap out of her. woman song, a modern day Romeo and Juliet. And Juliet decides that she's not going to die for Romeo. Which I thought, you know, was a really, really cool thing because in this day and age, I would not die for any man. thought it was a song that was a little too hip. He thought the people might not understand it. Kind of 
country music is not western so to speak anymore it's about real life it's about real problems and real things and no not all of life is about drinking and leaving your wife and having a dog and a truck it's just not <laughs> there's an awful lot of it out there that is not country to me it goes under the name of country but it's not country it isn't traditional country is what has made my living and fed my kids and fed me and clothed us and and kept us alive for all these years and that's what I love is the plain pure country and uh, I couldn't leave it if I wanted to if somebody asked me to do uh, a pop album I'd have to say well now hey I can do you an album you can put some pop music behind it but my singing is still going to be country you know because I can't sing any different I don't know any different Willie Nelson, Waylon, Reba McIntyre, Vince Gill, Brooks and Dunn, Jerry Lee Lewis, Loretta Lynn, George Strait, he's been here, Clay Walker, Tracy Lawrence, George Jones, Merle Haggard, every major star except Garth Brooks. I think they like to come here because they always, you know, we always have pretty big crowds and everything and they enjoy that part of it. And I think, too, that they like to come for my mother's good catering, good down-home country food. <laughs> All the crews that come in here and the starts and everybody says that it's just like being at their mother's or grandmother's, you know, for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I think they like to eat here, too. The classic country stars lived who they were to their fans through their music. There was a very powerful connection made. They had charismatic personalities. They came from hard luck backgrounds, almost all of them. Their stories are as every bit as compelling as their music is. You don't find that in young people today. They grew up in a different world. They grew up in shopping malls, you know. They didn't grow up chopping cotton. They grew up, you know, mowing the grass. I experienced <laughs> divorce, uh, being hurt by being lonely, uh, having children to raise on my own. All the things that any and every woman goes through. Uh, I'm no different from you. I'm no different from the lady that works in the bank. I'm no different from the lady that works at a, at a drugstore or pharmacy or whatever. I just have <sighs> blew my eye thoughts. <laughs> the doorbell. What about the, what is the Stand by your man. At the moment, we're trying to finish an album. At the moment, Mindy is in L.A. with Dean, Kane. Um, there is there is a Christmas season coming up that Mindy has to understand, and that's what I'm going to Indianapolis to talk to her about, that it, there are various deadlines. If you miss these deadlines, you miss Christmas. If you miss Christmas, you miss 60% of the year in terms of sales also means that when she, her album doesn't come out, she no longer qualifies for the Grammy, she won't qualify for the American Music Awards because she won't have any new product. And in our business, out of sight, out of mind. So Mindy has to make a choice what she wants to do. And that if she chooses not to do that, she's made a major mistake because the window is now. It's not a year from now, it's not six months from now, it is now. <laughs> 